This is the absolutely massive Empyrean Varus 3 Concert Home Theater Package. This package consists of the Varus V8 T3 way dual 8 inch tower floor stander speaker, which retails for 3,998 US, the Varus V8C 3 way dual 8 inch center channel speaker, which retails for 1399 US, and the Varus 3 Concert V8B 8 inch bookshelf speakers, which retail for 1449 US. The Varus V8T floor stander is a 3 way Diapolito driver configured speaker. It stands 51 inches tall and weighs about 77 pounds. The frequency response is 26 Hz to 35 kHz. Impedance is 4 ohms with a sensitivity of 91 decibels. Recommended power is 20 to 200 watts. The tweeter is a patented 28 mm axially stabilized radiator with a silk dome tweeter. The mid-range drivers employ 5 and a quarter inch Kevlar cones with an aluminum bullet cone phase plug. They cross over at about 300 Hz. And then, the dual 8-inch long throw linear excursion Kevlar woofers take care of the low end. One of the coolest things about these speakers is that they feature a level adjustment in the treble and mid-range. You can adjust the treble to plus 2 decibels, minus 2 decibels, and minus 4 decibels. And you could also leave that alone. Ditto for the mid-range. I brought both down by 2 decibels. The Varus V8C utilizes the same tweeter and same 8-inch drivers as the towers. It's different in that the cabinet is a sealed box design and the two mid-range drivers sit below the tweeter between the base drivers. The level adjustment is a simple treble mod to reduce the treble by 3 decibels. The frequency response is 35Hz to 35kHz, impedance is 4 ohms and the sensitivity is 92 decibels. The surrounds are the Varus 3 concert bookshelves. Now, if you've seen my video on that, you know that I gushed about these speakers and the expansive sound of them. These speakers are a two-way rear-ported speaker. They feature the same tweeter and bass driver. Around the back, you get a large bass reflex port that sits above two sets of five-way gold-plated binding posts. Rounding out the back of these speakers is a treble mod that allows you to reduce the treble response by three decibels. Frequency response of these speakers is 35 Hz to 35 kilohertz. Impedance is 6 ohms with a sensitivity of 88 decibels. All of the cabinets are HDF, which is stronger and more dense than MDF. The cabinets are curved along the sides and the top and finished in a beautiful cherry gloss that's rather striking. It's furniture quality, but still very much a speaker. The front baffle is black and the magnetic grills are inset into the speaker. The result is a seamless look with the grills on, but I found the speakers to sound their best with the grills off. Aperion supplies a grill removal tool to assist with taking the grills off, though you can pinch the material and pull off the grill that way. To be honest, I couldn't figure out how to get the tool working, so I just ended up pinching the grills and pulling them off. Also supplied with these speakers is the massive Energy 7-channel power amplifier. This 7-channel monster retails for $18.99 US. This is the sort of power amplifier that you would want should you want to drive these speakers to their best. I set these speakers up in our basement. It's really the only place for a system this big. The center speaker being as big as it was left little room for my receiver and power amplifier. So I purchased a metal shelf slash coffee table to house the receiver and power amp. And I quickly realized that the power amp was far too heavy for a metal coffee table and it bent it within a few days. So I had to improvise with the ugliest solution possible on short notice. And that was with a rolling IKEA Alex drawer unit with which I placed the power amplifier on. The receiver I used was the Mighty Moran Cinema 70. I had that on hand for review and I decided to pair it with this speaker package and also Aperion's Theatris speaker package. Yes, I got that one too. While the Cinema 70 is under power to power this speaker package, it fortunately has seven channels of pre-outs. So I wired those pre-outs to the Energy E7 power amplifier and I was off to the races. My streaming box of choice was the Apple TV 4K. In addition to all of these speakers, I used Aperion's own T65 Slim 3-way dual 6-inch cinema studio on-wall installation speaker as side surrounds. Our basement is pretty big, and the area where I had these set up is 25 feet wide by 31 feet long. It is open on the left side. The layout for these speakers was about 12 feet by 14 feet, with a seating position about 10 feet from the front wall, and about 8 feet from the front speakers. The rear sit just behind the listening position on console tables, 
and the side surrounds just off to the side of the couch. Once I had everything set up and like the level adjustments all dialed in and I was off to the races, I just cranked these up and just went to town. And holy crap, these kick ass. Like they sound really, really big and just all the feels. Prey. Predator is my favorite movie. Actually, Predator is the best action movie of all time. Yeah, I said it. It is. And Prey is the best sequel in the Predator franchise of movies. It's just really, really well done. It's infinitely rewatchable and everything in that sound mix from the quiet moments to the really loud killing scenes is just incredibly immersive and with all seven speakers in play and that movie turned up to 11 is just amazing. And I'll admit to jumping at some points even though I knew how it was going to end. Interstellar is a movie that I put on when I want to test out a home theater package. It's a wonderful movie. Again, it's infinitely rewatchable. The soundtrack's amazing. The atmospherics are amazing. The orchestra that's playing for the soundtrack sounds really good. And everything in the dialogue is really crisp and really clear through these speakers. And even when there's a lot of atmospherics in play, the dialogue is really easy to hear. And when things get going in flight or crash scenes or like when they're going through a wormhole, it's just all the shakes and all the rattles and everything you really want. I also tried the Varus Towers there behind me, connected to my long-term loader, the CXA81 from Cambridge Audio. That's an 80 watt per channel amplifier. These speakers are really efficient and that amplifier powers these no problem. With tunes, there's a track by Homemade Weapons called Spasmolytic. I think I'm going to get that right. I might have just pronounced that wrong. But this tune kicks ass through these speakers. They handle the bass no problem. You don't really need a sub. It's a really frenetic track too. Having a three-way tower, being able to like isolate all the sections of sound and convey them really properly is really, really nice. And uh, yeah, give that track a try. The other song is from um, Etherwood, the Souvenirs remix from Ulterior Motive. Ulterior Motive is not around anymore or they split up, but that remix of that tune is spectacular everything from like the sweet vocals really tight drum programming awesome bass and all the fun distortion that they like to add in slams on those speakers and just i could listen to that track over and over i actually have it on cd and vinyl so it's wonderful what was the other track let me check my notes uh the other track was oh your love by frankie knuckles that tune uh i mean it's it's old as balls right now but that tune just from the top just chills every time uh, especially when i put it on a pair of speakers that i haven't heard yet or or a brand new pair of speakers to me it's like the song's just brand new and actually every song is brand new when you hear it on a new pair of speakers to me anyway but yeah your love frankie knuckles just it starts off amazing and when it finally kicks in and drops I have a hard time sitting still. I wish I could play it right now so I could just like groove to it. Like it's it's a wonderful tune. Uh, classic house all the way. Um, but yeah, that tune rocks on these. These speakers rock. And if you want large high end sound, uh, this is a speaker package for you. If I had the space for these speakers, <laughs> I'd love to own them, but you know. Um, uh, I have to give them back. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.